Staring down a dirt road, rebel flag flying, coon dog in the back. What's up YouTube? I'm here today with a review over the Mad Cat's MC2 wire, er, uh, USB racing steering wheel for the Xbox 360. I'm just going to go ahead and get this plugged in real quick. Alright, we're going to start off. It's a pretty good steering wheel. Uh, it's kind of tangled up here a little bit. Um, it's got two cords, one that runs to your Xbox, it's USB, and you got another one, kind of looks like a little mini VGA cable, you just plug it in there, uh, tighten those up, uh, it's got some wheels. Um, there's one complaint I do have about it, is the foot pedals. Now, it's made to where you can, on the steering wheel, so you can mount this with suction cups. Uh, you have one there, there, and another one up there for suction cups. You can mount it to a, you know, like a table, and then you can put the foot pedals under it, you know, have your chair there, and go from there, start driving, racing, whatever you're playing. Um, bad part about that is the steering wheel stays in place fine um, if you have it on a table, or they also have these little um, lap things. So, but, you know, I can't, my legs are not that, that small to fit in between there, so I don't use those. I just set it on top, and it stays pretty good. I mean, I have no complaints about that part. The part that I have to complain about about the, the MC2 is just the fact that it would slide. Um, now, see, that's my piece of Velcro that kind of got taken off. It's actually this piece of Velcro came off my Guitar Hero World Tour uh, foot pedal on the drum kit. Um, but all that comes on this to keep it on the floor are just these little plastic. They're they're really not even like rubbery or anything they're just like hard pieces of plastic with those little grooves and I guess they thought that was gonna keep it I mean I've tried it on this carpet right here I've tried it on this rug I have tried all different things um so finally I came to the point where I I didn't have any velcro in my house or anything I haven't made it anywhere to get some so I just took this off the bottom there and just stuck it there and it keeps it right in place I only have one piece I'd like to have one here and here over here on the side um other than that a pretty good steering wheel very responsive pretty quick to everything uh foot pedals work real great i like um you know i like them the only reason i got this one instead of the official xbox 360 steering wheel um it's for basically one thing and that's the shifter i don't like how the for like original xbox i had a mad cat steering wheel um because it came with the shifter it was like black and yellow i'm sure you guys have seen those um but this one has like a little carbon fiber design right here it has paddle shifters which you can push for a and push for x or pull um for the left bumper and the right bumper so as you can see it does show that there um it's got a little sticker in there it's got like the oil gauge fuel gauge temperature um you know the speedometer and the rpm uh it's pretty sweet um it does have force feedback which is pretty cool um I've never used the like official Xbox 360 steering wheel, so I'm really not too sure of how the force feedback works on that. The steering wheel that I was really wanting to look get is it's a um, a Logitech G35, I believe. It's like $299, but right now it's not compatible with the 360. It's only compatible with a PS3 or with a uh, computer. Um, so basically, it is a USB, but people have tried it and it does not work. I've emailed the company and it's not compatible um, yet. Uh, that's what they told me, not yet. So I'm, I'm looking forward to you know that coming out for the 360. The nifty part about that is that instead of having the shifter right here, um, you actually have a separate gearbox. So you can mount this on a table. You can mount your gearbox, gearbox basically here, here, wherever you want it on either side. So you can work with left and right-handed people, whichever fits your driving style. And it's instead of just having a, a you know shift up shift down, it actually is a real shifter. It go, has first, second, and then to get into third, you got to go up, over, and into third, and then down to fourth, up, over, and up for the fifth, and then down for sixth, and then it has an over and down for reverse. So it's a six-speed transmission with reverse, and it's pretty sweet. Um, I really want it. Another great part is that the MC2 and basically every other steering wheel that I have seen for the 360. Um, has just a brake, and, or well, the brake and the gas, and the steering wheel that comes with that $300 Logitech G35 steering wheel is a clutch. So instead of having this little footrest right here, um, you're gonna have a clutch, and they're not just these plastic pedals like this has. It's actually like a full-on pedal. So it's a it's a lot more cooler, way more racing. Um, there was one complaint that I heard about it, other than you know the steep price, and that was just the fact that when you go to stop if you're in a real car and you're slowing down and you have a manual transmission you have to push the clutch in 
Well, so I'm acting like this clutch. You have to push the clutch in so your car doesn't stall. Well, on video games, the feature doesn't have that because the cars can't really stall on games. So that's the only complaint. It was some older guy that plays racing, and he's like, it doesn't really bug him. It's just that something minor that he saw that he thinks that they should add. I mean, you know, just to make it a little bit more realistic that we have to start the car up again. Anyways, that's my review over the MC2. It's $87 that I got it. I got it off of Google Shop or uh, yeah, Google Shopping. Um, you can find it on a lot of different websites. I've seen it go pretty cheap, but I've also seen it go for over $100. Um, so I got mine right in the middle. Later, guys. Put down with beer and a cold one in my lap. Earnhardt sticker behind my head and my